Hello everybody! Hello mga ka-fired up! I just want to share with you my thoughts on the word empowerment. Perhaps you are a leader at work or maybe you're a teacher or maybe you're serving in a community where you are leading other people na kailangan mong i-build up, di ba? Because the whole idea here is not just to remain where you are as a leader but you want to empower other leaders to take your place so you can do other things pero yung susi talaga is the word empowerment paano nga ba natin ma-empower yung ibang tao how do we build them up because we can only grow whatever we have our businesses our our organizations, we can only grow them as much as we grow the leaders, as much as we build up those who are starting out and hoping that they will progress to take on some of the work, right? So, paano nga ba ang empowerment na to? Paano nga ba natin i-empower yung ibang tao? I want to talk about that empowerment. Uh, a little bit of context lang uh, bakit ko sinishare tong empowerment na to. Kasi kanina, I just uh, came from a workshop. A group of youth in our area wanted to learn more about talk writing. No? So, nagsusulat sila ng content for their up-and-coming event. At nakaka-excite kasi syempre. Uh, they're very hungry to learn and excited to learn. And, uh, ayan, no? so I gave the talk I gave a workshop and I and I uh, journeyed with them through the process uh, buong umaga at nakakatuwa how you can see uh, them learning new things and being able to um, discover and achieve some breakthroughs in their journey diba so in the spiritual context if you look at what Jesus did in terms of empowerment talagang in-empower niya ang kanyang apostles, ang kanyang disciples, especially the twelve, in-empower niya. And he sent, of course he said, okay, I will send my spirit to empower you. Okay, di ba? Na-empower sila ni Lord. Kaya hanggang ngayon, we still have the teachings of Jesus because of the empowerment. They went to the ends of the earth. They gave their lives to the cause. They were empowered by the Holy Spirit. Okay, so that's an example by Jesus of paano niya in-empower yung kanyang mga, mga apostles, di ba? So, paano nga ba natin i-empower yung ibang tao? So, I wanna share with you three ways to empower. Okay, so, ang letters na gagamitin ko ay S, G, L. Ayan, no? S, G, L. Okay, so, First key to empowerment, ang unang susi, is to show them. Pakita natin sa kanila. You cannot empower other people or build up other people kung hindi ka mabuting example. If you are not actually showing it, di ba ang hirap nun mag-empower if you're just telling them. No? So if you're just talking to them, instructing them, Hindi, hindi sila ma-inspire eh. Because actions speak louder than words. And that is the way to 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 inspire them is to be able to show it to them. Paano muna ginagawa? So, today, yan, I, I showed them. Uh, as an example, I also made mention that I've, uh, I've written some things in my journey uh, in my community life in my uh, in my being an author and being a songwriter as well so pinakita ko no? so um they they've, they've uh, gotten some examples already so yeah no you have to show them ipakita sa kanila paano mo ba ginagawa okay of course they have the potential to do things better than you but again Paano natin sila ma-inspire if we do not show it to them? So, ano ba ang pinapakita natin? So, if you want to empower your children, 
if you're a parent, if you want to empower your children, show them how it's done. Show them an example. Give them you know, uh, something to work with, something visual to see. So, hindi puro tell and tell, but show and tell. <laughs> Alright, so that's the first the first part of empowerment. So, letter S. So, if, you've, if you're listening right now and uh, nakuha mo yung first key to empowerment, pakilagay lang dyan yung ating first point. Show them. Okay. So, we now proceed to our second point. The second point being letter G. Okay. We have to guide them. Now, so, guiding them is doing it side by side. Na, na, ginagawa nila, pero hindi natin sila iniiwan. Kino-coach natin sila, kino-correct natin sila. Pero, nandiyan ka. Kasi, takot pa yan eh. So, if you've ever taught somebody how to ride a bike, na I've taught my children paano mag bisikleta, diba? sa simula, hindi makabalance. So, da- nandun ako. Nag-guide sa likod lang nila o sa gilid nila. Kasi pag wala ako doon, matutumba sila, masusugatan sila. So, we have to guide them and tell them what to do while they're doing it. Okay? Yun yung guidance. Hindi yung iiwan mo na sila agad after uh, saying the instructions. Hindi magiging maganda yung work. Uh, hindi magiging maganda yung learning process. So, kasama mo sila. You're guiding them. You're enabling them. You're coaching them. You're telling them what to do. And you're answering their questions. So, dapat yung presence mo Anjan talaga. Di ba? Just like our Lord. Our Lord was correcting Peter. He was guiding the people around him. No? Of the of the right principles. Okay, so up to now, we have those teachings. and uh, We got guidance. They got guidance from the Lord. So, tayo din, nag-guide din ng simbahan, nag-guide ng ibang tao. So, if you think about your mentors in the past, isipin nyo, how did your mentors guide you? Paano nga ba nila? Uh, ikaw sinamahan. How were they able to guide you so that you could learn something? Diba? You could learn something. So, accompaniment, be there side by side, be a, be a, be a coach. That's how we empower. Parang masabi din ng ini-empower natin na, uy, sinamahan talaga ako. Sinamahan talaga ako. Now, the extreme side naman of that is yung masyado kang controlling. Hindi na magkamali yung ating ginaguide kasi masyado natin kinokontrol. And we have to realize that one of the ways to learn and in which it will stick is when they make mistakes. Pag na, nagkamali and they're able to correct that mistake, that is uh, a good way to na para tumatak yung kanilang kailangan matutunan. So, okay lang. No? So, when I do workshops, I guide them. Then, of course, they have to do the work. Alam ko naman na magkakamali sila. No? So, that's where I come in. That's where I add more value. Okay, so guide them. Again, to review, the first one is you have to show them. Okay? Then, the second one is you have to guide them. That's how you empower, whether it's your children, whether it's your uh, team, whether it's uh, in, your, in your business. Yan, show them muna. Then guide them. Alright, we now go to the third to the third part. Yung third part is letter L. Okay, wait, this is the, the hard part also. You let them. Let them. Hayaan mo na sila. Okay. Sinamahan mo na sila. Ginide and correct mo na sila. Now you have to let them or maybe let go. No? Let go. You have to let them. Let them learn on their own. Let them discover new ways. Now, so, kanina, we were doing a talk writing workshop for 
the youth. Tapos, sinisilip ko yung ginagawa nila. Pinapakinggan ko yung discussions nila. Of course, tempting na, tempting na pumasok. Ano? Tempting na sabihin, no, mali yan. Or tempting na sabihin na uh, ayusin natin yung process. It's so tempting to be a micromanager. Pero, pag hindi rin natin sila hinayaan, hindi natin sila hinayaan, hindi <laughs> sila matututo, <laughs> and you'll end up doing the work. You'll end up doing the work kasi uh, maybe you're a perfectionist, maybe you want things done right, as they say, if you want to do things right, you gotta do it yourself. Of course, there's a grain of truth in that, but it's also an indicator that we have not empowered the people around us, di ba? So, how do we empower? Yun yung big question. And yun nga, you have to let them. Okay? Then, it goes through a cycle. After you let them or let go of them, balik din sa show them. Di ba? You reinforce that. Show them again, then guide them again, then you let them. Let them do it. Let them experience it. Let them make some mistakes and learn from it. Let them. Ayan, di ba? So, ganyan. Uh, wag mang gigigil kung medyo, okay, mali yung ginagawa. Ay, well, in terms of skill and studies, ayan, okay lang. Pero, syempre, in terms of morality, in terms of sin, we have to have correction. No, we just don't let them. We have to protect them. But in when we're talking about learning a skill, ayan, kailangan talaga hayaan. No? So, my daughter's learning the guitar now. Sarap talagang i-guide. No? Sarap. No? Pero, when I just let her, let her learn the songs on her own, just let her find her passion, pag masyado kong pinilit, no? Sige, gawin mo to ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Baka mapaso. <laughs> diba? Baka mawala yung passion. Baka mawala yung desire. So, I just let her. Let her do it. And surprisingly, no, uh, within a week's time, mas maganda yung progress because I just let her. No? So, so, let them. So, there you go. Those are the keys to empowerment. Again, yes, show them. Be an example, be a model. Then G, guide them. Side by side kayo. Samahan mo sila sa process. Then, letter L, let them. Let them do it. Then, go through a cycle of showing again, guiding, and letting them. Alright, that's it. That's it for our Fired Up Life. And if you like this episode, share nyo naman. Share nyo naman sa iba para mas maraming maging fired up because kailangan natin ng encouragement. Kailangan sama-sama tayo kasi madali lang ma-burn out, madali lang mapagod, madali lang mawalan ng gana. Ayan, kung may fired up life tayo, then we are able to go farther. We are able to build up our spiritual strength, our emotional strength, and of course our intellectual capacities. So that's it, folks. God bless you. Bye.